GoPro Labs has released firmware 1.70.75. Very simple to do, and this is the actual firmware on there, down on the PNY card. While in the camera, I am going to simply put my battery in and leave my SD card out that has firmware 1.60 on. I am going to basically do everything without cutting. I may time lapse the video to speed up its upgrade. This is your camera mode on. Nobody showed this issue at all. So what I am going to do is I am going to shut my camera off. The four second press doesn't help. Now I am going to do that 12 second press and hopefully I am on the button again. That should be about 10 seconds, about 12 seconds and off. You notice the SD card uh, information started to blink. Let's turn the camera on again. Again, I love these uh, on and off buttons. The on and off button is working. It's just very difficult for me to press. And there we go. That is your firmware 1.70.75. We are ready to load firmware. I want to show you that I have Rabbit on, Quick Capture, my audio, my voice command, the locks and other things off. I also want to go into one of the settings here. Let's swipe up, go into 4K, 30 frames per second, Super View, Hyper smooth boost. We can save it because what we're going to do is go into firmware 1.60 and see what that does for you. And here we go. Our camera is on, finishing its setup. It remembered the setting 4K30 Super View. And you don't have boost. So there are a few things you can look for. 2K7 and you'll see boost added. One of the things I do want to do is I did before. I basically removed my battery. I put my battery in and I basically turned my camera on trying to find that on button and the fail for it. Please forgive me. As I try to turn it on, there we go. The camera goes on very simple. And the quick capture is 100% on. There is one more thing that I do want to do. We are on 4K 30 frames standard. I'm going to take a video. I'm going to stop it. When we remove the battery, For a crash, we put it back in, and when we press quick capture, we are on time warp. So I am going to simply 
just remove my battery. I am going to now load in and we're going to fast forward the firmware update. You won't see a flicker because there's no battery. When battery's in, there's the flicker and I can now update. We are now officially updated and take note that I didn't add in my username Fishy Comics at all and that should have said GoPro Labs beta testing. We are still with Quick Capture on, that's a good thing and we are with 4K Super View Boost. Remember the one thing that I showed you prior when we simply removed the battery, put the battery in, and we hit quick capture? We're doing video. So let me simply remove the battery. Do that one more time. Because it doesn't happen every single time you do it with the battery. File repaired. Recording video. These are some of the tests I like to show you because you see how the file repair no longer comes up because the overlay of Fishy Comics takes over. And I can replicate that time warp over time. Now that power down cycle may sometimes interfere with your camera's settings, with the profiles, when you want to now go in and you want to try to change your profile. Did you just take note of the erratic static changes? In order to now use and set things up, like if I want to go on my bicycle or put this on an RC car or do a time lapse, I need to now go to GoPro Labs QR programming area. And I could save myself my QR stickers. This is the precision and date and time. All you need to do is just simply place your camera, see the check mark, it will repeat, repeat, and repeat. Doesn't matter which field of view you're in. My camera is now set up. If you are uncertain of the commands you give, be careful what you put in. GPS lock 93%. Press any button to cancel. I wanted to put in a reset to my camera. And let's see what this will say. QR reset. So make sure you write the correct settings. So now when I look at my camera and I power it off and I turn it on, you now see the GoPro Labs beta firmware. And in order for me to now correctly put back in my name, like I did just before, I will go to owner's manual and I type in, again, my name. And all I got to do is put it in the front and my name will come back up when I start my camera.
So if you're unhappy in any way you can imagine, and you updated your camera, you won't be able to reset your product. And at given times, I'm trying to get this on and off button to work. Comes up with my name, Fishy Comics, once again. Shuts off correctly. Not a problem. And I just got to make sure that when I use my quick capture, I'm good to go. I set up my camera for a time lapse. And the only thing I need to do for me is to figure out how to get it to shut down as soon as it's finished in five seconds. It has great potential. You could ride along, you could have your GPS information there, you could give it all these different commands, all up to you. But nobody out there shows what I've just shown you. Some of the little glitches and bugs and issues GoPro has that they'd rather give you beta firmware for your Hero 8 and not going to be for your Hero 7. What will happen if you put in the firmware to the GoPro Hero 7? Well, let's find out. Let's make sure we have the card out, put the actual firmware in to the camera. Turn on the camera. And that's what will happen. It won't work. It says update failed. Imagine that. So you got to take the firmware off. And then you can use this card again. So I hope this video was helpful to people out there. If you're interested in finding the GoPro Labs firmware 1.70.75. And if you don't save your existing firmware 1.60 then you're going to be with a QR program on your camera with 4K Super View Hyper Smooth as well as 2.7 and maybe a couple other things. I watched one video and his Super View had a single line going across in Super View. So yeah. GoPros have a lot of issues like a pet rock. Have a great day and thank you for joining.